Hey guys. Okay. So while everybody's hopping on, um, if you're watching the replay, make sure you hashtag replay. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, um, tell me where you're from. Cause I know I have lots of people watching me on YouTube now and I definitely don't know who you are if you don't comment on my video. So, Hey Maggie. Hey Sarah. Hey Hannah. I just messaged you back. I do have bonfire beach pods. <laughs> um, okay. So I lately have really paid attention to how I'm working in my business. Um, I think that some, it's super easy to get distracted when you're your own boss. And I think that it's so important when you're, you are your own boss and you are a business owner and a Cincy consultant to be very intentful with how you work your business. Um, so the ultimate goal or the, the reason why we do Cincy is for the freedom, right? Like we want the freedom to work when we want, um, how we want. We want to be able to be with our families as much as possible, um, but we still want the benefits of having full-time income, right? So, I mean, the idea of that sounds too good to be true, and it is too good to be true if you don't work your business smart. Ew, sorry, had a hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, so, like, being your own boss is amazing, but if you don't have any self-control or any rhyme or reason to when you work and how you work, like, your business is never going to work. Um, especially the further along you get in your business, you have to have um, self-control. You have to have some of a schedule to follow or systems in place. Otherwise, you're never going to work as much as you should or the opposite which is what i'm dealing with is i'm working too much um it's really hard or really easy for me to work too much because i absolutely love what i do i love being a sensei consultant i love helping my team members um succeed and reach goals and then i have a lot of people that aren't even in my group and are on my team that reach out to me and ask me questions too and as much as i want to help everybody when i do that i start to find that it physically wears on me um, I've noticed that like I'm more edgy with my family and I feel overwhelmed with my own business, um, my own customers and things like that because I'm pouring so much into everybody else. So we have to really be intentful with how we're working our business. So a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the first thing is that whenever, like consistency is key, right? Like, um, um, I'm sorry, I was reading a comment. So consistency is key. So we need to be consistent in our business, but we need to be consistent with income producing activities. We can make samples all day long, or we can watch training videos all day long, and that's not gonna make us any money. We're gonna lose money, actually. You can make all the samples and you know, prepackage all the join brochures and all the things in the world, but if you're not doing something that's going to make you money, you're wasting your time, right? So we have to be pay attention to what task we are doing every day consistently in our business. And we have to weigh them. Like we do have to do those things that don't necessarily bring money in right away, but we can't focus all of our attention on those things. So some things that, that are income producing activities that you should be doing in your business every day that are easy to do, especially if you're not trying to do all the things in your business, but you're doing the income producing things that in your business the most, would be to give your samples out and then follow up with those people. And I know that I say that on almost every training video, um, but you have to do the part of the following up. If you're giving away samples, you're wasting your money if you are not contacting them again. So following up with customers, whether it's on a sample or on an order that they've already gotten um, that was shipped to them, or if you haven't talked to them in a while, that is income producing because they are going to most likely order from you or you're building, you know, checking in with them, building that relationship with them, letting them know that you care about their experience with Cincy. That is income producing. Um, booking parties is income producing. E booking events is uh, income producing. Having recruiting conversations, sponsoring people, that is income producing. So whenever you think about 
working your business and sitting down, like I highly suggest, like if you work a full-time business or a full-time job, which a lot of people that do Cincy still work a full-time job, um, but having a power hour every day. And if you can't do a full hour, like a half hour, or even if it's 15 minutes, like working your business every single day, but sitting down, turning off your social media, unless you're going to like post um, in your VIP group or whatever, but don't scroll through, don't get distracted, but have a solid amount of time that you have mapped out in the day to sit down and fully focus on your business. These can be so, so powerful to in your business and to your success if you sit down and focus on what you're doing in your Cincy business. A lot of people that work it like a side hustle just work it when they feel like it and they don't sit down at a desk or a table. I don't care if it's in your bedroom with the door shut and locked <laughs> so that your kids don't bother you, but to sit down and just work your Cincy business for a little bit. It doesn't have to be for eight hours a day. Like that's the beauty of this business is it doesn't have to take all day, but as long as you're doing something and within that time doing something income producing. Um, also, uh, systems are very, very important and systems can look different to everybody. Like my systems are gonna look completely different than what um, even another superstar director systems look like. Like I have a happy planner and this is the happy plan. I do not use this for my family stuff. This is just my Scentsy business. Um, but I have systems in here that I go by so that I can work my business. Like I keep track of my daily numbers. I have checklists of my follow up and my coaching calls and the things that I need to do on a daily and weekly basis are all in my planner. So having systems where you think ahead of time, write things down, you can make them make your own system on Microsoft Word or whatever you do, but just a checklist of the things that you need to do in your business every day, every week and every month. So that way you can check them off, off and physically see what you need to be doing or what you haven't done. Um, and then you can always change your systems as well. Like as your business grows, you're gonna need to do more things in your systems, um, but it's worth it because you're making more money, right? So don't get distracted by, like I find myself, this is, this is what my problem is and it's probably a lot of people's problem is that I can have a really big to-do list and then I'll find myself like scrolling Facebook or clicking through people's stories on Instagram and then I'm like, what am I doing? Like I don't have that much time and that's wasting time. So now I try not to like just scroll through social media until all of my tasks for the day are done, like the important things I need to do because guys, nobody is going to build this business for you. But if you just put in the work and put in the effort, your business can be something so amazing. Like we all love selling Scentsy, that's why we're here. Like being a Scentsy consultant is so fun. It doesn't even feel like work. So I think that's why it's so hard sometimes to just like to always work your business because it's just, I don't know, like it's, it, it doesn't feel like a job. Like it doesn't really feel like a responsibility because it's so fun, it's almost like a hobby. But if you work it like a hobby or a side hustle, that's what kind of results you're gonna get from your business. And I realize that like life is crazy and like everyone is busy, everybody is busy. Nobody has extra time, but if you make time, you can do amazing things in your business. I have five kids. Um, two of them are three nagers. <laughs> they are a handful and a half. And there are days where I can't, I can't focus on my Scentsy business for all day or for a couple of hours. I can only focus for a few minutes because of them, but I still make my business a priority because our future as a family is a priority. Like financial freedom for my kids and for them to be go, able to go to college and not have college loans and for us to be able to travel. And my why of the reason why I do this business is so big that it's bigger than any excuse that I can give. Like, yes, I have five kids. Yes, I have a house to take care of and dinner to plan and, you know, cleaning to do and all these things. But my reason that I joined Scentsy um, and the reason I continue to build this empire for my family is so much bigger than I'm too busy. I just make sure that I'm not too busy to work my business. I set goals. Like I have goals in my business and they're, they're weekly goals, they're monthly goals, they're daily goals, like literally checked off goals for the day that I want to get done. Like goals will map you to your success. Like 
you know, it's the best feeling in the world to like lay down at night and feel productive. And if you just map out time for your business, you will feel like you're doing something in your business and you will feel accomplished. And it, it gives you a little bit more self-worth knowing that you're working towards something for you and your family. But with all of that, like it's still so important for you to set boundaries because on the, the, on the one side, some don't work their business enough. And then on the other side, some people work their business too much. And this is where I find myself is that because I love what I do, I, I just do it all the time. Like it's really, really hard for me to shut off the sensey part of my brain and just be present with my family. But that's why I do this. Like that's why I'm a sensey consultant and that's why I work so hard. So I have to set boundaries and you guys do too. Like self care is so important and we cannot let ourselves get burnt out because we didn't set boundaries for ourselves and for our family. So it's okay to set business hours. Actually, you should set business hours. There's no such thing as a Scentsy emergency. And if a customer or a team member texts you at 11 o'clock at night, I promise you they can wait until seven or eight in the next morning when you wake up and get out of bed and get moving again before you respond to them. You are not at somebody's beck and call. We are not there to give immediate answers to people. Um, and actually I found that like, since I put this really in play in my business and set business hours that most of the time, if I have a customer or not a customer, a, um, a team member message me late at night, Landon, I'm on a video. Stop. Stop. Go. Oh. Kids. Um, but if I have a, I'm on a live video. If I have a uh, team member message me late at night, most of the time, by the time that I message them back the next day, they've already found their answer. So it kind of helps them learn how to find answers themselves. And it also keeps me from burning out. If it, there's just no possible way to answer every single message from every single person all the time. It's so important. Like when you work a full-time job, you clock out and you go home. And with Cincy, it's really hard because you don't clock out. There's no clocking in and clocking out. So you really like, um, it's hard to like draw the line. Landon, go, you go. Did you eat the last one? No, I did not. Um, so you have to set those hours of operation for yourself. And I am so sorry. He totally just distracted me asking me if I ate the last cookie and I didn't even eat any of them. So, um, just make sure that when you're working your business, because we have so many people in here that have such bright futures with Scentsy and there's so much opportunity and so much potential in all of you that I don't want anyone to be burnt out. But if burnout happens, and I'm not going to lie, like I have felt burnt out before with Scentsy, the only way to get through burnout is to just keep moving, keep pushing. Don't let that feeling of, oh, I don't feel like working today turn into, I don't feel like working this week or I don't feel like working this month because I promise you that it's never gonna go away unless you force it to go away. And I think that can be the same answer to a lot of things like in life, like movement creates energy. And if you don't feel like working your business, those are the days that you really have to work your business. When you push through that, push through that feeling of not wanting to do something, there's amazing things and results on the other side of that. Because everybody that has given up in this business has given up on a bad day. They've given up on a day where they feel like everybody's saying no, you know, I don't feel like working my business today. You know, I have, I'm busy. I just, I'm too busy. Like that's when people give up, but the successful people push through those days when they don't feel like working and they keep going because that's where success is. Success is not quitting in the middle of it or giving into those feelings of being burnt out. So that's all I have for you today. Um, I just wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about that really quick. If you have any questions, um, drop them in the comments. Um, I would love to see you guys post your systems. Like if you have systems in your business to post them so that other consultants can see them in the comments. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye everybody.